I'm here to talk to you today about transparency. Uh, such an odd topic among the many intriguing and well thought presentations you will hear today that correlates with crisis and creativity. South African author and Nobel laureate Nadine Gordimer once stated, responsibility is what awaits outside the Eden of creativity. What this means to me is there exists a responsibility to put in place proper control measures to manage risks associated with creative solutions. The Recovery Act is the creative solution developed by lawmakers to revitalize the American economy. The Recovery, the Recovery Accountability and Transparency Board is, the, is responsible for oversight of recovery spending. These are the uh, topics to I'll briefly uh, cover. The Recovery Accountability, uh, um, pardon me, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act was passed by Congress and signed by President Obama in February of 2009. They intended the law as a direct response to the economic crisis faced by this country. Under this program, $787 billion is made available, and funding is, is made available. All funds are scheduled to be obligated by October 1st of this year. The administration hopes to create 3 million jobs, and the recovery board was created as an oversight body to ensure accountability and transparency of recovery spending. The distribution of the $787 billion in stimulus funding uh, includes the benefits, uh, in includes tax benefits, contracts, grants, and loans, and entitlements to include disbursements to Social Security, unemployment, uh, state uh, stabilization programs, as illustrated by this graph. The Recovery Accountability and Transparency Board is the oversight body created by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. The board is chaired by the Honorable Mr. Earl Devaney and 12 other inspector generals from various federal uh, government agencies. The mission of the board is to provide the American public with the utmost transparency for tracking recovery spending and job creation. Provide oversight on spending to prevent and detect fraud, waste, and abuse of recovery funds. The Transparency Board designed and deployed two distinctly different website, public websites in an effort to provide the American public with the tools to track recovery spending and fund allocation. Federalreporting.gov is the inbound reporting system that collects data from federal agencies and recipients, processes data, and transfers that information to recovery.gov. Recovery.gov is the outbound reporting system that provides the reporting and data visualization tools to enable taxpayers to track spending. This is transparency in action. You might wonder who's responsible for reporting. The answer is simple. Prime recipients and subrecipients are required to submit data on a quarterly basis for grants, loans, and federally awarded contracts under the Recovery Act. Through federalreporting.gov, recipients register for site, site and manage their accounts, submit reports, update and correct reports when appropriate. Federal agencies register on federalreporting.gov so they can view and comment on recipient reports. The figure above illustrates the split of returning versus new reporters. Further, the graph indicates the majority of the funding set aside for the Recovery Act, roughly 70%, is dispersed or earmarked. The next graph illustrates job creation as reported by recipients of recovery funds. This is further broken down by grants, contracts, and loans. We deployed the first version of recovery.gov at the time of the signing of the Recovery Act by the President. We made major enhancements on recovery.gov to provide richer content and interactive tools that would engage the American public. This new version, recovery.gov 2.0, was released in September of 2009. Shortly thereafter, the Recovery Board began receiving many accolades and awards for the improved website. We are constantly trying to provide more and richer information to the public that, 
and we are implementing innovating and cutting edge technologies that provide the best delivery system for federal data. Our latest enhancement to recovery.gov is stripping the system of the physical infrastructure and virtualizing the website and supporting services in the public cloud. This move by the recovery board will save the taxpayers an estimated $750,000 over the next 18 months, conserves energy, and allows the agency to maximize the value of physical assets by repurposing equipment to the oversight mission. We moved recovery.gov to the public cloud on April 26th of this year. Migration to the cloud only took 22 days from feasibility study to production. Recovery.gov became the first government-wide system to move to the cloud. Many different technologies are used in the design and deployment of Recovery.gov to provide the user base with a secure, high-performance, end-to-end system that supports our mission of federal transparency. Recovery.gov is a multi-layered multi architecture from cloud services to social media. Each layer in the system design strengthens security, improves system performance, or delivers information using the latest data visualization tools, data mashing technologies, reporting capabilities, and data analysis uh, engines. Recovery.gov is used by millions of people to track recovery spending. It is one of the largest federal SharePoint and Esri sites ever created. Recovery.gov and its sister site, federalreporting.gov, have received numerous accolades and awards over a short period of time. The most recent is the 2010 23rd Annual Government Computer News Award for Outstanding Information Technology Achievement in Government. Providing the best information and delivery system that supports federal transparency is possible by the hard work and diligence of a brilliant, talented team of government and contract personnel. Thank you.